What is going on you guys, Steven here today, I'm bringing you guys a brand new video, and today I'm bringing you guys a $700 Fox Airsoft unboxing. So big shout out to Fox Airsoft for supplying uh, these boxes for me today. Without them, this video wouldn't have been possible. So these two boxes I'm about to unbox, one of them is an actual $300 Fox Airsoft mystery box, which I will have linked in the description. And then the other box is just an individual gun that they sent me that I already know obviously what it is. And it retails for $420. So I already know what you guys are thinking. Steven, what the hell is this jump cut? I can tell there's a difference in the background. All the ivy looks wet, and you are absolutely correct. I'm filming this a day later. So I'm gonna have a second clip, because I forgot to mention something else a little bit later in the video, so expect the second one of these. So for right now, though, what I gotta mention that I forgot to do the first time around is that I will have a link in the description. If you click that link, it'll take you to one of Fox Airsoft's uh, pages, and it will be a page of all of their Black Friday deals and all the savings. You can check out what they're offering, all the items that you know have deals and whatnot. So if you wanna save a lot of money and get a lot of Airsoft stuff, go ahead and make sure to click that link and check out that page. However, if you guys are watching this on the day that this video is getting uploaded and you know you're just part of the notification squad. God damn. That was loud. But as I was saying, if you're part of the notification squad and you're watching this on the day it gets uploaded, which should be Thursday. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. All right, I hope you guys are surrounded by your loved ones, by your family members, by all your friends, whoever you want. I hope you just are surrounded by everybody that you love and that you eat a shit ton of food. All right, today's the one exception. All right, put on a minimum of 15 pounds, whether that be stuffing, turkey, gravy, yams, ham, everything. I don't even know, whatever. I probably missed a whole bunch of other Thanksgiving food, but yeah, just pig out, man. Oh, if you got the desserts, you got all the pies, you got the ice cream, oh my, I'm gonna get so fat today. But yeah, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And also, because it's Thanksgiving, all right, it's the holiday season, Christmas is just around the corner, I'm gonna be holding a giveaway, but you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for that uh, next week, all right? Probably on Wednesday of next week, you guys will be getting a video at 12 p.m. PST, um, and I will be announcing the giveaway then. All right, but just stay tuned. A giveaway is going to be happening very, very soon. I wanna give back to you guys. Again, it's the holiday season. I'm feeling good right now. I'll make something happen, don't you worry. So if you guys want, you know, just you know, for this video at least, give it a thumbs up. I don't know, just wanna be nice. Everyone's happy, you know, everyone's gonna get fat tonight. Just come on, thumbs up, thumbs up the video. Click it, all right? Okay, let's start unboxing some stuff. All right, let's take a little peek. Let's see which box this is. I haven't even opened up the second one yet. I just wanna get through this guy. I want to say this is the mystery box. Yes, this is definitely the mystery. Okay, so the first box we're going to be opening, you guys, is the $300 mystery box. And again, I'll be sure to have this linked in the description, as well as their page that has every mystery box that they offer. All right, so you can pick whatever, you know, mystery box you want. 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1,000, whatever you want. All right, so first up, you guys, and I will be tallying up everything that's in this box to make sure that it is indeed $300 worth of stuff. So first up, I've actually never seen this before. The Beretta APX CO2 Airsoft. Is this a non-blowback? Oh, no, it says blowback right there. All right, so velocity 310 FPS. I'm not sure if you guys can read that. Uh, but yeah, 310 FPS. The mag holds apparently 15 rounds, has a metal barrel, obviously a 12 gram CO2 cartridge because it's a CO2 gas blowback gun, and six millimeter airsoft pellets. All right, so let's go ahead and open this guy up and let's see what this is all about. I have never seen this before, actually. And wow, this actually looks pretty good. Dude, holy moly, this thing is gorgeous. Is this metal? Yeah, it has a full metal slide, um, has a, I'm guessing polymer lower, yeah, this is, Definitely not metal, but yeah, it definitely has a metal slide. Has a whole bunch of trades, APX. Oh, you do got white dot painted iron sights. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, any more trades? Yeah, so we got Beretta right there, if my camera will focus. So yeah, we just got the uh, Beretta logo right there, and then we got APX embossed into the lower receiver right there, or the lower frame. Then we got a serial number, and then made in Taiwan for Umarex. Um, anything else? Oh, you got, what, what's this? Read manual before use. Uh, Cal 6 millimeter BB. And then it actually says Beretta trademarks licensed by Beretta Italy. That's actually pretty cool. And then again on this side we have APX again. All right guys, so it said blowback. Oh, I bet you money. It definitely has that stick type magazine. Yep. Okay, so I definitely was not expecting this. Um, as I said, I've never seen this gun before. This is totally new to me. Um, but as soon as I pulled the slide back, it's basically like one of those half blowback type of things. Um, I knew it definitely had to have this type of mag and the CO2 definitely goes in there. Yep, you got that little tool. Yeah, 
Uh, so just slide this guy in like that. Um, this, all right, pull the trigger. Where's the safety? That definitely probably has to, yeah, that's the safety. Um, dude, if this was an actual blowback, they may have an actual blowback variant with, you know, a full magazine, not like one of these stick type mags. Um, Dude, I may have to pick myself up one of these. This is gorgeous. This almost reminds me a little bit of the XFG, I think. Uh, if I'm, if those are the right letters from ICS that I unboxed in my second to last video, that big unboxing video. Regardless though, externally, this thing is gorgeous. And I love this little two-tone strip right here on the grip itself. Very nice little touch. Guys, I just realized they also give you a, another back strap, which isn't uncommon, so that's pretty you know standard. But they give you a second mag. So that's actually kind of cool. I thought you were just gonna get one of those, you know, just one 15 round little stick type mag. Nope, they got you a second one. All right guys, I'm trying to pull out the second item in the box, but they packaged this so freaking tightly. Oh, there we go, okay. All right, I'll be with you guys in just a second. All right, and I've already looked. There is nothing else in the box, so this is it. We got two guns in this $300 mystery box from Fox Airsoft. So Echo One USA, yep, very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and remove it. What could it be? All right, so I know you guys can't really see it yet, so let me go ahead and take this out. So I think this is the Echo One Red Star or something like that. Obviously, it is an AK-47. Dude, this thing feels solid. Oh my God, I love AKs. All right, you guys, here it is. Here is the Echo One Red Star AKM. Dude, this thing is gorgeous. I wanna say this is real wood. And if it's not, my goodness, is it? okay, uh, it's definitely real wood. I wanna say it's real wood. Yeah, because where the screw is right here, you can actually see some of the wood chippings a little bit. Yeah, I wanna say this is real wood, 100%, because this looks good and it feels good and it doesn't feel cheap and nothing moves on this. This thing, usually, you know, with these AK hand guards or whatever, the top piece moves a lot. Really no movement at all. Dude, this thing, is solid. So yeah, I wanna say this is a uh, real wood. This thing is, I can't get enough of this. I want an AK in my collection so badly um, that, you know, actually a good AK um, and one with real wood and the color of the stock is just gorgeous. I'm fanboying right now because I love AKs. Um, but this retails for $240, all right? So this is $240 and I looked online for the APX, how much that was, um, and the APX retails for $80, so $240, plus 80 is 320 and you pay 300 for this box. So you profit 20 bucks. So you definitely get your money's worth. Anyways, so let's go ahead and set the AK down for right now. Um, I just wanna talk about quickly or go over what else is in the box. So you get a second magazine. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, you get, I wanna say an 8.4 or a 9.6, yeah. So you get a 9.6 volt uh, battery, just like so, pretty uh, funky shape but you know what have you go ahead set that back then you get the standard wall charger for your 96 and it looks like there's a baggie with yeah a uh what is that let me see oh i thought that was a butterfly wind up key uh for your high cap but i don't believe that actually has that yeah it doesn't even have that hole on the side of the mag that is a front sight um adjustment tool so now let's go ahead and set this guy aside and let's get into the second box all right you guys getting into the second box now I'm pulling the gun out, and again, I already knew what was in here, and I already know what it retails for, as I've already mentioned. It retails for $420. All right, so here it is, you guys. We do have an ICS AEG. All right, so I actually flipped the box around, uh, so when I open it, it's actually facing you guys. So let me go ahead and do this, and you guys can probably already see what it is, um, but it is the ICS CXP MMR. DMR. Dude, this thing looks nice. All right, so first up, we just have a little bag of ICS BBs. One thing that I thought was kind of weird though that I noticed was that they didn't specify the weight and how many are in this little bag. Normally, you know, companies do that. Um, but I'm guessing they're .2s and I'm guessing it's probably 200 uh, BBs. Regardless though, let's go ahead and set this guy down. We have the magazine, which is just a high cap, I'm assuming. Yep, got the wind up wheel on the bottom, trap door on the top. All right, you guys, so I saw this tool and I've never seen this tool come in an AEG box before. Um, so I read the manual and this is apparently called the outer barrel ring tool. All right, so yeah, the more you know. Regardless, so let's just go ahead and set that back uh, in the box. We got a barrel cleaning slash unjamming rod. We have a little muzzle cap here for the flash hider. And uh, last but not least, we have this MMR DMR itself. Damn, okay, I was not expecting this thing to be that heavy. 
This thing weighs a ton. Right, this is the second one. I told you it'd be coming. So again, what I forgot to mention the first time around that I'm throwing at you now is that if you want to win this ICS CXP MMR DMR absolutely free, I'll have a link in the description to that as well. It's Fox Airsoft's newest giveaway and they're holding it on their website. Uh, so just click the link. All you gotta do is fill out three things. Your first name, your last name, and your email address, and you're good to go. Just click sign me up or something like that and you're entered. All right, back to the video. Guys, I have to stand so far back to get this whole thing in the camera frame. Uh, but then again, it is a DMR, so it has to be pretty big. Uh, but I, let's just start at the front here. I'll get a closer for you guys. There is the flip up front iron sight, just like so. Then we got this beautiful, super, super long, oh my God, never ends, M lock rail system. Then we got the upper and lower receivers right there. You got the uh, standard ICS M4 mag. Um, and then you just got, you know, just standard for all M4s, you know, auto. Uh, semi and safe then you got the mag release right there. Just go ahead and push that dude I'm not gonna lie Look at that mag release. It is like almost ergonomically designed for your finger to rest perfectly Right there and extends out further. It's not like one of those little ovals that normal m4 mag releases are dude That feels so good the little things you guys the little things make the biggest difference regardless So we do have the trigger the uh, little angled trigger guard right there Then we got the rear iron sight right there Which can be adjusted with these knobs on the sides to go left and right um, And then the front iron sight I guess I can mention can also be adjusted um, I wasn't paying attention at first uh, But then we got the classic ICS charging handle right there with the extended wings Just go ahead and pull that and your charging handle uh, will go back and it will reveal your hop up right there and does this have a functioning bolt catch though? Let's see. Nope, I don't think it does. Um, nope, definitely doesn't have a functioning bolt catch. I will say though, just holding this thing for like five minutes, do you guys see those little like edges in the motor grip? Very unique design. But I gotta say, man, you're definitely gonna wanna be wearing gloves out on the field if you're running this thing. Cause these kind of prickle you. They almost, not prickle, they prick you. They kind of stick into your fingers, uh, which is kind of uncomfortable. And then on the back as well, if you guys can see that, let me try and get an angle for you guys. Right in there, all these little edges, these little teeth, they're almost like little shark teeth. Um, they really, especially if you're holding it tight, it's really like digging into your hand. I don't know why they would do that. Um, I mean, again, it's a unique design. It's kind of cool, but in terms of comfort, yeah, just being honest and then we got this a beautiful stock right here Which has just all the functions you could possibly want such as this right here, which I'm assuming is the cheek rest Yep, look at this guy just rise um, Wow, you're gonna have to do this for quite a bit and then just go the other way to go ahead and lower it make it flush Perfect and then this one I'm assuming is for this uh, rubberized butt plate to extend out as well, just go ahead and do that. Let's see if I'm right. Of course I'm right. Go ahead, keep doing it. Let's see how far this thing goes out. All right, I'm not gonna go any further. I don't know why you'd ever want it out this far. This thing is already ridiculously long. Look at this thing. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna run inside real quick, get a lipo, get some BBs, fill up the AK, get this guy going, and uh, we'll test these guys out. I like this thing a lot. Holy shit. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed those two little shooting segments. Um, if you guys are curious, Steven, why are you using another battery? Well, that is because right after filming the shooting segment for the AK, I unplugged the LiPo, plugged it into this guy, and I was trying to film a segment for this first time around, and the battery, it legit just died like three shots in. So I was legit doing that shooting segment uh, for the AK with a completely dead LiPo battery. So the rate of fire should only improve and the uh, trigger response should only improve uh, with an actually fully charged 11.1. Because as I said, that battery was like dead. I don't even know how I got through that segment. But to run inside, get this 11.1 that doesn't even fit in this stock um, and just hope for the best because I can't even remember the last time I even used this battery um, or even charged this battery. In addition, before we wrap this video up, um, I was gonna shoot the AXP, you know, that CO2 pistol that I unboxed in the very beginning of the video. 
I don't have any more CO2 cartridges. So after I'm done filming this video, I'm gonna buy some more. Regardless though, again, stay tuned for either tomorrow or Saturday with a review of this guy. Stay tuned on Wednesday uh, for a new unboxing video and then whatever I unbox in that video on Wednesday, next Wednesday, um, the review for that gun will be up probably next Saturday or Friday as well, all right? So expect two videos um, next week and expect a video this weekend, okay? Guys, I have so many videos I gotta do. I have so much planned, so much upcoming stuff. This is gonna be a good winter break, I can tell you that much. Regardless though, I'm gonna wrap the video up right now. Fox Airsoft, gotta give him one last thanks for sending all this stuff out to me to do videos on. I love you guys, I appreciate you. And I love you guys, all the viewers as well, for continuing to support me. You guys mean the world to me. I only keep doing this for you guys. So without you, there would be no Airsoft Tech 23. With all that being said though, you guys, again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys either tomorrow or Saturday with a brand new video.